and now for something completely different. As many of you are probably aware, I stopped making videos that had anything to do with the off-roading world many years ago. And that is because apparently those videos were so bad that nobody wants to watch them. So in an attempt to overcome my feelings of self-loathing and failure, I stopped making them. But verily I say unto you that now I am making this video that you are watching currently at this very moment that is off-road related. Sort of. And the reason that I am making this sort of off-road related video now is because I like this. So much after I bought it that I feel it is my duty as a YouTube superstar to share it with you, my favorite viewer. Even though and in despite of the fact that I no longer make videos related to anything having to do with anything of the off-road. And that product of which I am referring to is the Thor's Lightning Bolt Air Compressor. Now, I am aware that the name is stupid, but let not your heart be troubled because the product itself makes up for the ridiculous name. And of course, for your convenience, I will include an affiliate link to this unfortunately named product in the more information section of the video below. Now, just to be clear, this air compressor is for use only for real off-roaders so that they can put air back into their tires after they let all of the air out of their tires for their off-roading escapades. And if you happen to be one of those people that are confuculated over why off-roaders would let all of the air out of their tires and then pay a bunch of money for something like this just to put that air back into their tires, then this video is very clearly and very obviously not for you and you should stop watching and go away now. So first of all, allow me to share the saga, saga, saga of how I came about acquiring this miracle of modern air squirting technology. And just to help make my story more bearable to listen to, I will play some clips from some of those old horrible off-roading videos of mine on the screen while I relate the saga. Saga? While I tell you the story. Once upon a time, many years ago, at a time in my life when I was still a tolerant and naive newcomer to the exciting and dynamic world of off-roading, I very quickly learned the hard way that if I was going to air down my tires for an off-roading odyssey, it was a good idea to have a way to get air back into those tires before trying to drive home like on the freeway. For off-roaders, there, there are so many attractions, so much to see and so much to do. And I also learned the very hard way and also the very expensive way that unlike boys and girls, not all portable air compressors are created equal. So like many other new and ignorant off-roaders, I started out with a little $99 air compressor from the AutoZone which not only took all day to fill up my very impressive 35-inch tires, but it also only lasted about six months before it threw a rod and ended up in the landfill. I then moved to the much more expensive Viair 440 air compressor, which, although very expensive, still did not meet my stringent airing up speed requirements to impress the chicks. So while suffering from feelings of inadequacy, I upgraded to the ARB twin tank onboard air compressor, which also turned out to be too slow for my very manly 35 inch off-road tires and even more slow when in yet another attempt to compensate for things of which I shall not discuss here, I upgraded to 37 inch tires. So then, finally, in my never-ending quest to air up my very manly big tires as quickly as possible and impress the chicks, I settled on a very expensive 15-pound power tank CO2s system, which is what I have been using for the last several years. 
because it is very fast when filling up the extremely manly 37-inch tires on my very impressive Jeep. But then, once upon a time, a few weeks ago, whilst filling my very large and very manly 37-inch Jeep tires with very expensive CO2 after a particularly harrowing off-road adventure, one of my off-road compadres began to very vigorously brag to me about the new air compressor of which he had just acquired. In fact, he was very brazenly gloating that not only was he more of a man than I could ever be because his new air compressor was pretty much just as fast as my CO2's tank, but he was also rubbing in the fact that his new air compressor costed him only $200 of money. Affiliate link below. Needless to say, as an off-roading expert, I was much intrigued by these tales of how quickly he could air up his tires and thusly impress the chicks. With his new air compressor, which was, as you have probably figured out by now, the unfortunately named Thor's Lightning Bolt Air Compressor. So in order to avoid any appearances of being weak, I very quickly asked my wife for an advance on my allowance, and I even washed her boyfriend's car a few times until I had saved up enough monies to purchase my very own, unfortunately named, Thor's Lightning Bolt Air Compressor. Even though I did have some concerns that this air compressor was from China, and if anything were to ever go wrong with it, I did not look forward to having to deal with our non-English speaking friends in the customer support slave labor camps of China. However, I then learned that the Thor's Lightning Systems Company is located right here in these United States, to be more specific, in the city of Colorado. And when you call their telephone number for support, you talk to a real cheeseburger fed American. Even though the compressor itself is probably very skillfully assembled by the tiny, soft, yet skilled hands of small children in the slave labor camps of China, although I do not know for sure, but I do know that the Thor's Hammer Air Compressor, or whatever it's called, has a five-year warranty. And if anything goes wrong with it, I can just call the boys in Colorado for help. Now, first of all, some people are probably already warming up their fingers and will no doubt leave stupid comments from the comfort of their couch, complaining that the duty cycle of this compressor does not meet their stringent requirements, even though they probably don't even have an off-road vehicle, or a job for that matter, to which I would respond that in fact, this compressor has a 50% duty cycle. Now, it is true that I have no idea what that means. However, I do know that the Thor's jackhammer air compressor, or whatever it's called, can fill up four 40-inch tires nonstop without any problems. This unfortunately named high-speed air compressor comes with everything you need to air up your tires right out of the box including a decent digital gauge and a 22 feet long hose. And the power cables, which clamp directly to the battery, are plenty long enough to reach the battery, even on the most ridiculously lifted truck or Jeep. And even though the Amazon says it weighs 25 pounds, which would be far too heavy for my weak little arms, I do not think it can actually be that heavy because I am able to lift and move it around using just one hand without even crying. But of course, the question that I am sure you are asking yourself right now is, what is wrong with this guy? But let's not talk about me. What you should be asking is, how does this unfortunately named compressor stack up against the far more expensive ARB and Vi-Air compressors? And is it truly almost as fast as a CO2's tank? So allow me to make some comparisons of these different methods for impressing the chicks while off-roading. The Vi-Air 440P portable air compressor costs around 
$300, and it boasts an embarrassing 3 CFM. And no, CFM does not stand for Confuculated Fancy Man. CFM is in fact a measure of how many airs a compressor can squirt out of the tip of its hose. The more CFMs a compressor squirts, the faster its load is deposited into whatever it is depositing it into. Now that you understand what a CFMs is, allow me to continue with the ARB twin canister onboard air compressor, which costs around $600. And it boasts just over six CFMs. And just to avoid any confuculation, I literally threw my ARB compressor into the trash a couple of years ago after it failed and was replaced for the third time. So I do not have it anymore. A fancy CO2's tank will cost between $150 or so if you put it together yourself, up to well over $600 for a fancy one that really impresses the chicks like mine. However, it is important to bear in mind that with a CO2's tank, you must also pay someone to refill it with the CO2's gas every time it runs dry. And for my Jeep with my very impressive and very manly 37-inch tires that I air down to around 10 PSI when I go off-roading, I have to refill my CO2 tank after about three off-road adventures, meaning that I have to refill my tank about once every month. And where I live, and at my preferred place to get my CO2's refills, which is very conveniently located near my large and luxurious house, to refill my very large and very manly 15-pound CO2's tank costs me $40. And just to be clear, of course, every idiot already knows that the price of CO2's varies, just like the price of pretty much everything else on the planet. So please, to anyone that was about to leave a stupid comment trying to impress us all by letting everyone know that you pay less for your CO2's refills, just sit back down. Because nobody cares and you are stupid. The big advantage of a CO2's tank is that it is fast. And this is why many people are more than happy to pay all of those extra monies for the tank itself and the refills because, obviously, the chicks really dig it when you air up your large and very masculine off-road tires faster than all of those other less manly losers. However, because the speed of a CO2's tank varies depending upon things like how full the tank happens to be, the temperature, and the phase of the moon, a CO2's tank's squirting abilities are not usually measured in the CFMs. But do not let your heart be troubled because 9 out of 10 off-roading experts agree that a CO2's tank will fill up your tires faster than pretty much anything else. And 9 out of 10 off-roading experts also agree that the 10th guy is a moron and he probably drives a Toyota. And finally, the unfortunately named Thor's Lightning Bolt Portable Air Compressor costs, as previously mentioned, around $200. Affiliate link below. And it boasts a whopping, whopping 10 and a half CFMs. And as you can see with your very own ocular fluid sacs, the $300 Viair 440 air compressor took just under three minutes to fill my very manly 37-inch tire from 10 pounds up to 30 PSI. And if you do the maths, that means that to air up all four of my very large and very impressive tires would take about 12 minutes using this compressor. My very sexy power tank took only about one minute to fill up that same very impressive tire this means that to air up my entire very impressive Jeep, it would take just under five minutes. And the very unfortunately named Thor's Thunderclap, or whatever it's called, took less than one minute longer than my power tank to fill the tire at one minute and 59 seconds. Meaning that to fill up all of my very large and very manly tires on my very impressive Jeep, it would only take about eight minutes. 
And it is true that eight minutes is not as fast as my CO2 tank. However, it is way faster than any of the other air compressors I have ever used or have ever seen. And when you calculate the cost per minute to air up your tires, any fifth grader with a Fisher price calculator can very easily see that the Thor's lightning compressor is by far the least expensive. And by my math, because I have to fill up my CO2 tank at least once per month, this compressor will actually pay for itself after just a couple of months. What I am saying is, the mathematics actually prove that you cannot afford to not buy this compressor. Now please do not misunderestimate what it is that I'm saying. I still have and I will still use my CO2 power tank because there is nothing faster for airing up my very impressive and manly tires. However, that CO2 tank has now been demoted to be nothing more than a backup to my new Thor's hammer or whatever it's called air squirting compressor machine. So if you are a very manly off-roader such as me, then this might be the best way to impress the chicks.